All right, so let's talk about the basics of solving word problems. The first thing in any word problem that we have, I mean, it's, it's so simple that we forget to do it. The first thing you need to do is read and understand what's going on. Do you need to draw a picture? Do you need to draw a diagram? What makes sense? Okay. When you figure out what makes sense, you know if you're in the right track. If something is asking, uh, think about appropriate responses. If you were to say, oh, so-and-so is negative 19 years old. Really? How are they negative 19 years old? There were 71 and a half you know, kids in the movie theater. Why was there a halfsy in the movie theater? One was a baby. So a baby doesn't count as a person. So when you're doing your tax deductions? Little. Baby is little. Oh, so whenever I claim taxes in the child tax credit, I'm only going to claim, so I get like a small kid? He's like half the size of his brother? I, get, I have like one and a half kids. Is that how it works? If I make the other kids like, like when you go to a restaurant and they ask you how many people are going to be with you and you have a baby, like you say, oh, two and a half. Like, it's cheaper. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> I, you, you know what? I'm just not going to go anywhere with that conversation. No. And, you know, after you know what you're looking for, you're going to define a variable. When I say define a variable, this does not mean the variable is a letter or a symbol that represents some unknown value. Don't give me the definition, but you tell me what you're going to let the variable represent. It could just be something as easy as let x equal, you know, the number. But maybe the problem is asking for something a little more specific. Maybe you want to say, let H equal, you know, the number of hot dogs. But you, the thing is, you couldn't just say H is hot dogs. There's a particular uh, characteristic about the hot dogs you're probably going to be looking for, like the number of hot dogs, the cost of a hot dog. That's whatever the problem is asking you to find. Once you do all this, you then write an equation. Okay? And after you've written an equation, you can't even help yourself but to do what? Solve the equation. So the most difficult step in all of this is writing an equation. This guy right here is the hardest thing to do in the class, writing the equation. Because after you've written it, we already know how to solve it. The fifth thing that you want to do is check and analyze. Make sure that your answer makes sense. Again, if you come up with, oh, the cost of a hot dog is negative $20. Number one, why is it negative? Number two, really? Neg at $20? I guess, if you're, I guess if you're in an NFL stadium, it's about right, isn't it? And then finally, you want to state your answer. When I say state your answer, you basically answer the question. If it says, how many hot dogs were sold? There were 73 hot dogs sold. You know, what's the number? The number is. You just, you state it. Should not be an issue. Okay. Uh, let's look at an example of this. Okay. So the first example that I want to go over with you is the first example that you see on the handout that I gave you. It says, what are problems number one? And so this says that 5 times the number plus 19 is 84. What is the number? Do I need to draw a picture or a diagram? Is there anything super special about this guy? No, I'm just looking for a number. When it's looking for just a number, it could be positive, negative, fraction, decimal, who knows. So I don't know what the number is, but I'm just going to say this. Let x equal the number. You may say some number, you may say the missing number, it doesn't matter. And you may say x, n, a, y, I don't care what variable you use. It doesn't matter. Say again? Oh, well, let's see if that's right. Now, read this. This first sentence tells you what your equation is. And there's your is. And I'm circling is because this is important for us to find. Is tells you your equal sign. Okay? 
So before the equal sign, what do you see? Five times the number plus 19. How does that translate? 5x plus 19 is or equals, right? What? 84. What am I going to do now that I have an equation? I'm going to solve this guy for x. So what do you do? Subtract 19. So 5x equals what? 65. Now see, we've done so much of these problems by now. What do we get? x equals 13. Now, I was just looking for a number. That number makes enough sense to me, I guess. I mean, it's not anything special. So how do I state this? The question says, what is the number? What is an appropriate response to that? The number is 13. No. The number is 13. That's it. Some problems we're going to run into later, it's going to be a lot easier to check to see, does this make sense? You know, does it make sense for a drink to cost $5?